Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Wilson and I live in Camas, Washington, which is right near Portland, Oregon. My career, my job is as an elementary music specialist, so I teach general music for kindergarten through fifth grade. But I have to tell you that my passion in teaching is teaching my students about jazz, music, and vocal jazz. All my students in kindergarten through fifth grade learn about jazz music. We learn to play the 12 bar blues, we learn to sing it, we learn to understand the forms, and we do a lot of listening so that we understand where it came from. I also have an elementary jazz choir for students in grades three, four, five. So these students, ages eight to 11, perform jazz music with a kid rhythm section. So I have students on bass guitar or a keyboard bass. I have students on drums. I teach them to play the drum patterns and playing piano. We love what we do. My ensemble, Grass Valley Vocal Jazz, has had a lot of success. And the reason we have a lot of success is because they love it. It's also because I teach them the basics about the music in our general music class. One of the things that I think kids love about it is that they find that the music speaks to them. The style of jazz music varies and it changes. So the mood you're in can be reflected through the jazz music. We do a lot of listening in jazz, and when we listen, we learn to understand the form of the music. The form is the structure or the way that the music is pro uh, produced or laid out. When the kids understand that, they realize that those forms of jazz music transfer into the other music that they like to listen to, regardless of the genre. It doesn't matter what style of music that's playing now, but the roots of that music began with jazz. It's hard to believe and sometimes hard to understand that jazz music was here long before rock and roll. You know, rock and roll didn't even start until the 1950s, but jazz was here way back in the slave trade era, way back in the 1800s, the 1900s, and the style of blues music began historically in the United States. There are very few things that began right here in our own country, but jazz music is one of them, and it is celebrated worldwide. My students say that the things they like about jazz is that it allows them to express themselves. Jazz is kind of cool that way. You know, the best jazz musicians are those who have had some classical training. And that's because you have to learn the rules of music. You want to be able to perform well, whatever the instrument, whether it's your voice or saxophone or guitar or drums, you want to know how to play those things well. But jazz music allows you to break some of those rules. Okay, what I mean by that is that it gives you permission, jazz does, and encourages you to put your own take on it, to put your own personality, to express the music the way you feel it. And we're not necessarily encouraged to do that with the classical music. So the classical music kind of set the stage for it, but when jazz began here, it gave permission for the music to evolve and change and allow us as artists to express ourselves. And that is the number one thing that my students love about it. Improvisation is known as spontaneous creativity. And it's sometimes kind of scary to do because sometimes you just don't know what you're doing. But I am convinced that every person on the planet has improvised. Have you ever been singing along with a song and forgotten the words, but you keep singing and you're just making up sounds to go along with it? Yeah, we've all done that. And that is called improvisation. And sometimes you decorate the melody or change it up. And that's because you are feeling that music within you. Jazz encourages you to do that and gives you permission to do that. What I love about jazz is that permission. I also love the fact that it's always changing. It's always changing because the artists who perform it are always changing. 
We can listen to the same song over and over and over by different people, and it will never sound exactly the same. Some of those pieces we'll enjoy more than others, but that's because that's just the way we are. We like some things more than we like other things. So the reasons I think we should learn jazz and the things I wish I would have known growing up are the historical aspects, the fact that it came here so early and all other genres of music have evolved from that since the 1900s. They've all evolved from jazz music. I love the improv. I love the fun that we have. I love the ability to perform and spontaneously right on the moment go, hey, why don't we try this? And then we throw that in there and make that happen. And I also love the fact that when we perform jazz, other people are happy. So thanks for listening to the reasons why I think jazz is important. I hope you're out understanding it and listening, following, hearing new artists, trying new things, and enjoying music on your own. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Again, I'm Natalie Wilson. My group is Grass Valley Vocal Jazz, and we're in Camas, Washington. Take care, everybody.